everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I just wanted to do a quick little video for you um, to show you how you can embellish your paint pours. Sometimes you might have some of those paint pours that you're really not so fond of and it's not always necessary to scrap those paintings. Sometimes you can really use them for something super cool. So for instance, I, I did a, um, a dip, a reverse dip, and then I did some balloon rolls on it and it start becoming muddy and I ended up using it as a background, as a nighttime background, for like a fantasy forest and did this little um, painting on there for my granddaughter's bedroom here at my house. I've got a little room set up for her just for herself and did a bunch of fun paintings in there for her. So you can see once, once it dried, once this background here dried, um, really didn't look like much of anything. Uh, I almost thought about throwing it away and then I was like, well, why not embellish it with some kind of a painting on top? When it became really something cool, you know, that I almost scratched. So just an idea of things that you can do. And I just used the Artist Loft um, paints in the tubes. Um, I bought a large set of them, these type here. And, um, you know, just mix them with a teeny bit of water, but there's no silicone or anything. And I just paint my, my designs on with a brush. So you don't want to really water down these paints very much. And you don't want to add silicone or pouring, pouring medium either. And then another one that I did that, it was kind of a cool background. Um, and I think it was the second or the first one before it started becoming muddy. So this was the background of the first one that I had dipped. You can see the turquoise and the... Um, so I did some, I guess, purples and it was probably some orange, which is what started to make it muddy on my second one. And uh, I just decided to do this painting on there for her room as well. And it's a lot of fun. And it, as far as drawing my um, selected painting on there, I just either use a really light um, white and just outline, you know, my painting, so to speak, with a fine line of white. And then I will cover in um, the whole item in white and then paint over it so that uh, you're getting some good true colors. Otherwise, you know, this starts bleeding through a little bit. But, you know, just think of a cool design that you wanna do, sketch it onto your background and voila. And this was another one, I did a swipe and then I decided to come back and um, do some morel mushrooms on there. I thought it was kind of cute. It was in season at the time. Sorry about the glare from my light there. But um, I just drew them on. Um, you can even use like a white pencil to draw them on lightly. You just need to get the shape pretty much and the rest you're doing with paint anyhow. So um, it, was, it was a neat swipe, but after looking at it, you know, I wanted to embellish it with something. So I figured I'd do morels on the forest floor. That turned out kind of cool. And then it was becoming Halloween time and I was having a lot of fun. So I did this crazy background. Had a bunch of yellow and red and orange in it. And I decided to come in over it and do this little pumpkin Halloween sketch over it and then just use my acrylic paints to paint it on there. That one was a lot of fun. And I was on a roll with the Halloween painting. So this was another pour this whole background here and I came in and just did a silhouette painting over it and for this I used the paint pouring markers now these are made by Elmer's you can find them at Walmart I'm sure you can find them at Michael's there's probably lots of different brands out there but they have them in medium large and really fine tip so you just outline and then you can paint in your black and it's really good when it comes to the trees and some really fine detail up here and you just kind of pump the marker. It's got this felt tip. And you just kind of pump it to get the paint into the tip. And away you go. So these are great. And these are super. And I did the same thing on a, uh, on a blue greenish pour um, with the same type of marker idea. I did use some acrylic paint in the large areas, of course, to make it go faster. But on some of my finer details, those little markers worked great. Um, I don't think this took me more than an hour to do on top once I already had my background dry and it was a lot of fun. So my, my daughter really wants this. I told her to take it but she said no you might be able to sell it. <laughs> so well Halloween's over now so she can go ahead and take it. 
Um, this is another swipe I did, and once the, it, it seemed like the colors started to just muddy up a bit because there was a lot of orange in here. So I just waited to dry to see you know, how it turned out, and then I decided to embellish on top of it. I, I did the flowers while it was still, no, I did the flowers when it was dry as well. So I did the flowers when it was dry, and I did those with a sink, strain, a sink strainer. You just lay your sink strainer on there and pour in your different colors, carefully lift it up and move it over. And then I came in and drew the butterflies and painted them. So, yeah, it was a lot of fun, really cute. And then I had another Halloween one from a swipe. So this whole background was a swipe. Um, it was this throughout and down here, I embellished it with the, um, the aqua green after the fact, after I drew all my scenery on there, then I came in and painted the aqua in there and then brought some of the colors down from up above to highlight the water scene. So if, you, if you've got a pour that you're really not happy with or a swipe that you, know, you let dry, but now you're thinking, eh, what do I do with that? You can always embellish it with something really cool and make something out of it. I like to say, never give up on your paintings. And this is what I, I, I did for a purposeful meaning. I actually meant to embellish. So I did my background and then I did my balloon smash underneath. That's all balloon smash under the tree. Then I came in and I did the tree and then I used the paint markers to come in and do my design on top with the circles and the dots. And this one was a lot of fun to do. And I just, it makes me feel so happy. It's so joyful. And then I had another, painting that I worked on for quite a while and I did several different methods to it and I kept kept trying something new and it was going back and forth and I was ready to give up on it and then I decided to try some mixed media on it so I found some some you know cool sayings from some magazines and pretty much like modge podge them on there and then I came back in to, with some depth um, you know, to give it some layer of color on top. I would add and wipe off and add and wipe off and I kind of just went back and forth with this one. Um, and to me, this one is not finished yet, so I've, I've got some more work to do. Um, and it's hard to say, you know, when do you call it when? But I think I'm gonna add just a little bit more depth and some sayings, but this one's really cool. So, you know, it says New York City there and just has some really, um, some positive, verbiage on it so I, I really like that one and then I did a pour the other day just because I had some leftover paints wanted to see what would come out and it didn't really come out to be a whole lot of anything so I did some balloon rolls on it and some balloon smashes and you know it, it wasn't getting a whole lot better but I let it dry because I was starting to see something for me and I'm not sure if it's gonna be this way or this way yet but I was going to do something similar to the um, Alice in Wonderland themed um, painting on here. So I am trying to get my composition together and do something in this aspect on top of here. But it looks like a fantasy forest to me, so I really like this one. And I have one more to show you. It's up high in the baby's room, so um, I'll be right I back. One last one that I forgot about, and this one I just did the sky in the background first and once that dried I came in and I layered paint in like one of those produce trays you get at the grocery store and I layered some different green and blue colors in that tray and then I carefully just poured it onto my canvas and swirled and moved the paint around and let that dry and then after that I came in and did my flowers on top and this one's just a real fun, whimsical painting that's also in the baby's room. Kind of reminds me of a Dr. Seuss theme. And the last one I wanted to show you was this one. It was just a blue poured background with some leftover paint. And I came in and embellished it again with the fantasy forest kind of theme. So this is my granddaughter's bedroom for when she comes over to visit. I've got her crib going on. I did her name on the wall. And that is her mom and dad. And I wanna do a tree there, like a uh, um, family tree. And then that is her right there. Isn't she gorgeous? 
So anyway, I hope you like this video. Don't ever give up on your paintings. You can always make something out of them. You just got to think outside the box sometimes and have fun with it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.